everybody. Welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Um, I am going to land this guy on the moon, come hell or high water. So yeah, let's get it started. I think what we'll do from here on out is going to be a launch montage. Oh man, this thing's wiggly. to carry out our circularization burn. We'll fire this at T minus 17. 17. Thirty seconds and we have more than thirty seconds of fuel left. Twenty seconds to go on this burn. Ten seconds to go on this burn. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we are in moon orbit with fuel to spare in this module. I am going to make one change to something. I'm going to uh, face either orbit normal or anti-normal. Looks like anti-normal is what I've chosen. And get rid of this upper stage. I want to make sure that my crew is in the right spot. Yes, crew's in there already. Um, bring that down here. So this is the return stage. We're going to leave it in orbit. F5 in case I mess up anything. Everything in here is looking good. Yep. Goodbye, that stage. Now we're down to just the lander part. Let's find a spot to land. Uh, this crater is promising, but it requires a plane change. Let's plot. It's only five seconds for a plane change. Let's plot something like that. Okay, we'll get set for this burn direction. Six second burn. We actually don't need the maneuver anymore. We were just using it for reference. So let's fire up the engines and get ourselves pointed at this crater over here. Just about like that. And we'll add a braking maneuver. 
get pointed at it. 49 seconds worth of braking. What do we have here? 63, it's burning 1.5. Uh, we don't have quite enough fuel for that, but that's okay. We're going to dump a lot of weight. Uh, maybe we'll start decelerating a little early. Anyway, let's fast forward to this landing spot here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two minutes, one minute. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and hit full throttle right now. And actually, we're just going to go straight retrograde. We want to completely hit the brakes. Uh, one thing is that uh, Hatting or Hating is not a pilot, so he can't automatically aim us retrograde. So we're going to be flying this manually the whole way down. The stage is about to run out, which is fine because it's gone much longer than we had anticipated already anyway. I just want to make sure my next stage is good, yes. And goodbye stage. Cycle the landing gear. Uh, enable torque. Here we go. We are now essentially coming straight down. Um, I'd like to aim. Maybe sort of over there. In the middle of this crater. If we just face vertical, we can hover. Kind of like this. Yeah, that ought to do. Just manual control here and there. Get us down. to a nice soft landing on the moon. And our landing gear isn't long enough. That's all right. What a silly design. So we're here to get a whole bunch of science. Observe the mystery goo once and twice. Observe the materials bay. Get a crew report. Um... A pressure data. They say insanity is doing the same thing multiple times ex and expecting a different result. You check the atmosphere pressure again anyways. Yes. Log the temperature. Collected and recorded temperature data from the environment. Um, we are ready to EVA. Don't go too far, capsule. EVA report. Reset that experiment. EVA report here. Yes, you look up uh, and search the sky for Kerbin. Suddenly you feel very small. Keep that data. Gonna plant a flat, uh, oops, a surface sample. Yeah, we'll keep that data. The crater seems to have been really nasty impact. The samples are heavier than normal. And um, plant a flag. Hating was here for science.
All right, science data collected. I think it is time for us to actually really for reals this time return home. Interestingly enough, we have two different Apollo ship capsules floating around here that we can do this with. Got that one. We have these two. <laughs> well, that's Moonlander one. No, that's an Apollo. That's Apollo right there. Here's an Apollo. An Apollo ship. Lander there. Anyway. Warm up the engines and head east. Full steam ahead. He's in a 20 kilometer orbit. We'll get ourselves to a nice 10 kilometer orbit. Change over to orbit mode. We should be able to face full prograde now. Just want to make sure that our direction is, yep. We're still pointed up above the mountains. And we seem to have a pretty good chunk of fuel left. So let's hope it's enough. We are burning through electrical charge though, that's concerning. Eight, nine, and 10. <clears throat> Get rid of SAS. Whoa. Way overshot that. Okay, we have a 20 second burn to circularize our orbit. And we know we have 80 seconds of fuel at this point. Three. Two, one, zero ish. <clears throat> Good enough for me for now. We will set you as the target. And we know what the descending node, we have to do a node fix. Okay, so we're burning at this node here to get our planes synchronized with this. with this guy periapsis 8 apoapsis 15 you know I'm okay with that we can actually <clears throat> fast forward to the apoapsis and um, when we get there So when we get to the apoapsis, we'll raise our periapsis a little bit. <clears throat> and then we're just chasing our old ship. Or I should say the return ship.
Okay, we need to face prograde. Turn SAS off to save battery. At this point, we are coasting to catch up with that guy. Um, I'll fast forward this bit and catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, I figure right about now is a good time to talk about how I'm doing this rendezvous. I've adjusted my planes so that they're really close to each other, within 0 0.1 degrees. Um, these little bugs indicate <clears throat> how far away in the orbit, and they're kind of jiggling a bit because of things. Can I get them to lock in place? No. Um, how far away in the orbit each craft is going to be. So here's intersect one and here's the target position at that intersection. So basically we're saying uh, we have 17 kilometers of separation at this point. This is our closest pass. Um, and what's going to happen is that if we warp time around here, <clears throat> we are going to see these change places. So there's our closest pass, boop, just like that. So now this one's gonna be back here and our intersection stays the same. So what that means is that at some point during our orbit, we'll be passing underneath that ship. So what we wanna do instead of that is actually plan a maneuver which adds some prograde velocity, just enough for our orbit to meet the target's orbit. About like that. So here's our apoapsis at 20 kilometers. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we see that this, this bug has moved all the way around here and we have 5.8 kilometers of separation. Now, we're gonna move this around the orbit to minimize that. So there's 400 meters of separation at that point. What that's telling us is that if I execute this burn perfectly, then we'll have 400 meters of separation. Go ahead and warp to this next maneuver. Spend a little bit of battery to get ourselves lined up on this. Got to be very careful because we are running out. And we know this is a very small burn. So I'm just going to wait till we're right on top of the node. Yeah, it's nothing of a burn. I'm barely burning any 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 uh, thing at all. Okay, so there we are, 400 meters of separation. <clears throat> that is a close enough pass for our Kerbin, Kerbal to get out and uh, fly over there. But we want to do that in the light side. So basically now, now that I've got my intersect set up, all I need to do is locate the thing which I have targeted and let time pass by. We're going to watch as that ship gets closer and closer and then do something at the closest at its closest pass so there's the Apollo ship green indicator still warping time Here it is passing by our ship. So what I need to do now is face retrograde using my last little bit of battery. Just face retrograde with respect to that ship. And go ahead and burn forward to burn off this little bit of velocity. Face the retrograde marker again. Just like that. We're 400 meters away. 
So now we fast forward time until we're on the other side of the moon. This thing's even getting even closer. Okay, that's as close as pass. So since that thing's right over there and that's our return vessel, um, God, we have plenty of fuel in this thing. Um, we are going to get out and grab all of our experiments. So we'll take all this data. Release, activate SAS or activate rocket pack. review our data. What do we have here? Crew report. Surface sample. EVA report. Right. So we want to collect that data. Yes. Only scientists can restore inoperable modules. and collect this data. And we might not be able to get this other stuff because we already have a goo experiment. But we'll try. Okay, all items stored. Where's the other ship? There he is. Let's head over there. We now have mystery goo, surface sample, EVA report, crew report, material study, mystery goo. Yes. And we're just flying over to our Apollo return ship, leaving that thing behind in the dust. All right, slowing down here. Whoa, hit the brakes. Turn the lights on. Grab and board. And we have ourselves a return vehicle with everything that we need to make it home. Plan a quick burn here. And we already know that this craft is capable of returning home. Let's go ahead and get ourselves warped to the next maneuver. I'll do the return trip and another quick montage. And we'll catch you guys when we actually finally, after all this time, three freaking episodes trying to get this, return with a whole bunch of science to Kerbin from the moon. Sheesh.
Okay, we are coming down for re-entry interface right now. So, ooh, what a picture. <laughs> a nice little photo opportunity that I couldn't miss. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to ditch this stage. Goodbye. And we're on our way in. I'll talk to you guys. On Splashdown. <clears throat> okay, re-entry and Splashdown went just as normal. Things are looking great. And here we are in the water. Recover that vessel. In this one trip, we brought back 314 science. Combined with what we had before, we are left with 395 science to spend parts recovery and hating Kerman is advanced to level one for his moon <laughs> excursion basically one and done level one congratulations hating we have 449,000 uh, funds things are looking pretty good for our career mode thanks for watching uh, until next time while it is rocket science it's not that hard even if I screwed up a lot so don't pay attention too much attention to me until next time goodbye <laughs>